today I'm going to be showing you a demonstration using one of my favourite medium, the charcoal. It's just willow, lovely willow charcoal you can get in a box. There's plenty in a box, it'll last you for ages. I've already started the uh, demonstration by putting on uh, something called modelling paste, which is uh, you can get in, in several different uh, sorts, but this is the Galleria version. It's lovely sticky paste. I put it on with a palette knife and you put it on, uh, I put it on with, a, with this palette knife with a pointy end. Um, we're doing winter trees with a lovely soft winter sky in the background. You just paste it on, flattening it out with the side of the knife. If when you want to get a little bit more detail, you can just take a credit card and sh sharpen up some of your edges, making some nice uh, feathery tree-like branches at the ends. So this is just a little hedgerow with some nice winter trees in. Now to start, start with a, a spritzer and it's just put some nice, starts your water off, soaking the paper. My paper I'm using today is Bockingford, 200 pound weight. There's going to be quite a lot of stuff going on on this paper, so it needs to be quite heavy and to be able to take, take this. So I like Bockingford. Saunders Waterford is also another um, excellent paper you can use. I'm just going to make sure that's all nicely wetted in. I just want to do a lovely wet into wet wash in the background. So the first colour I'm going to use is Naples Yellow, one of my favourite colours for uh, a washy background. It makes a lovely colour in the sky uh, and it's a, a close as you can get to cream and I'm just going to wash that into the background and you'll see the texture appearing like magic of the trees behind. And as this is my palest colour, it won't matter where it goes on the page because the other colours will be darker and we'll cover it up. Wash my brush out. And I'm just going to add some warmer colours now into that wash, a little bit of light red and something called New Gamboge, which is a lovely sort of egg yolk yellow. And I can just add that into the wash. As it's quite wet, you can do brush strokes up and down sideways, so adding that into quite, as it's wet, it will always dry paler of course, so you can go quite in there with the colour. Dry my brush off a little bit and put a tiny touch of alizarin crimson into that sky, just to add the evening look. And this is a strong colour, so touch goes a long way. No two skies are going to be the same so have some fun trying out this different versions of your skies on this and uh, I quite like putting a little bit of permanent mauve into the sky at the top as well so I'm going to try that now just up here. Again it's a strong colour so let it graduate down on its own, mingling with the other colours. And I'm letting the colours mix on the page rather than encouraging them too much with my brush because the colours will just start getting a little bit muddy. Uh, I might just put a little streak through where there might be a low cloud and that'll show up behind the trees. And why not put a bit down here as well? Well, we've got it on the brush. A little bit stronger colour in there. Right, now that's where we let it dry. Page has to dry completely before we can carry on. Right, so I've got a, a lovely dry wash now on here. I think you can see the texture beginning to show up nicely. And for our next stage, we're going to um, see what happens with the charcoal. Uh, the sticks come at that length, I'm just going to break this one in half. It's a little bit of sideways movement, it's easier to do it with a smaller piece. And we just start dragging the charcoal across the texture and the winter tree appears like magic.
Give it a little bit more denseness in the trunk. I don't know what's going to happen till I put this on. So it's a surprise for me as well. And just where I put that paste on the foreground, it just picks it up beautifully. make some interesting ridgy shapes. Now, I'm just going to start drawing in a little bit more with the charcoal into these branches. With winter trees, where they're showing up in silhouette against a lovely winter sky, uh, you know, the observation of them is really worth going out and having a good look at them and seeing that the you know how the trunks goes into the branches and they slightly get narrower and narrower as we go up into the tiny twiggy bits which surround the edge of the tree and you often find that there is actually a complete edge to the tree and you can draw that in if you like and then with the side of the pastel uh, charcoal just start making those little fuzzinesses of the branches and the twigs right at the end. A few more branches in this one. And it looks like you've spent hours doing every tiny little detail of twigs, but it's just an illusion and it comes quite simply as a detailed winter tree fence posts or something just as a bit of interest along here. Smudgy with fingers if necessary. Um, you can rub it out quite easily if you decide you don't want that in. Charcoal rubs out quite nicely with the soft rubber anywhere that you've gone a bit heavy-handed. Now we add in some watercolour. Uh, the SAA Nordic Blue and ocean blue which are new to me i think new to the saa and they're beautiful colors so i'm going to take that nordic blue maybe mix it with a bit of my permanent mauve and start washing this into the trunk of the tree and letting it you can just take the brush and smudge it in and it makes the charcoal just blend. Interesting thing is that when the charcoal is wet or wetted it sets. So what you can do if you like to start with is just carefully wet over all your charcoal with a damp brush and it'll help it set. And then it more or less is smudge free. So this is just adding a bit of texture and detail to that already half done landscape. Quite like to do a little spritz at this stage and let things run about and see what happens. You can also give a good snow effect if you want this to look like snow you can uh, do that and you can use some sort of more bluer cerulean blue or cobalt blue in the in the wash. There we are at this stage and we, we could have a finished painting here but I'm just going to add in some of those blues that we talked about, some clean water here so I don't mess them up. Nice bit of cerulean mixed with some cobalt blue. I can just take that in adding some nice colour interest into there. highlights into those twiggy bits and that is my finished painting. Mm -hmm.